you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate TV video, guys. And today, we got the third day of Madden 21 X Factor News. So, first day, we got quarterbacks. Second day, we got running backs. So, for today, it's exciting to see what we're going to get today. But, guys, before I get into this, I just want to make some uh, quick announcements. If anything's off of this video at all, I don't think it will be, but if anything's off this week at all, I did just go through a bunch of hardware and computer change, like, I just got a new router, which is unrelated, but a new, brand new router, like an awesome router, I don't know if you guys saw that on Twitter, had to hook that up, had to factory default my computer because of some solid state drive issues I was having, so I wanted to update it to better hardware, and in the process, it just, the best scenario for me was to just factory default everything, so my computer is fresh, like no files, no nothing, so... I may have some things missing here or there, but I think I'm good. I think I pretty much saved what I need to save beforehand. So we should be good. I had to be matching up all my settings for my recordings. So hopefully everything is still working as usual. So, I mean, hopefully if you guys see anything, comment down below if anything looks different to you today. I mean, I think it should be good. But other than that, we should be fine. Really excited. My computer is running 10 times faster now that I fixed these hardware issues. So hopefully once everything else comes in, we should be primed for Madden 21 season. Guys, before we get into today's video... Make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below, like I said. Let me know what you guys are up to. Let me know how things have been going for you and if you guys are excited for this, but let's get into this, and let's see how these are. Got defensive players, which is kind of what we were expecting at this point. Now, it is kind of how I expected it. We did get a multitude of things, not just one position, because I saw, like I was saying yesterday, I was like, I don't think, like, how they could do offense is how they'll do defense, because we just, we only have five days. So we're on three, day three already. And we did quarterbacks and running backs. So there's no way we could have done, like, defensive tackles and then ends. It would have never matched up. So it seems like they did most of the pass rush, or the front seven for the most part here is what I'm at least suspecting. Front seven, then I think they'll do secondary. And then they'll probably finish off with wide receivers, tight ends, and linemen maybe. Which, again, doesn't really match up with 29. Oh, no, we got three more days. So it could match up. I'm not entirely sure just yet. They'll probably throw a lot more in the next few days. But let's start going through these. So we got Aaron Donald as the number one here. So Aaron Donald, let's click into his bio. I've got a lot to go through here. So I'm not going to read all of them again because there's a lot today. I don't want to keep you guys, but effective D-line captains like Donald are just examples to follow. They're motivators. When he enters the zone, all opposing blockers have their resistance bars wiped out. So let's see. He's got blitz, defensive line motivators. On-field blockers have their resistance bars wiped. Two defensive line sacks, one down, have their resistance bars. Is that like when you... Is that a new thing? Resistance bar. Is that what they were talking about with, uh, with like how, like they have those, like those things above their heads and like, to, like, I don't know. I don't know exactly. Something new, but you need two defensive line sacks, not hard to get. And then one down played. Does that mean if you, after the next play, you lose it? So I guess it's like a guaranteed sack. It means like pretty much the next play, they're going to absolutely demolish the lineman. But I don't know if that's the deal. Cause if that's the deal. That's kind of stupid. Cause you can just run the ball against them and make them lose their zone ability. Well, hopefully that's not the case. Well, we're back on offense. I'm wondering if they dropped anything here. I don't think. Yeah, they didn't. Okay, I'm just checking. I don't know why I took him here, but let's go to the next one. We got... Oh, good. Aaron Donald's gone. Okay, we got Calais Campbell. Let's see what Calais Campbell has. He has simply a massive human being. Calais Campbell uses his incredible length to wreak havoc at the line and beyond. Run stuffers like Campbell can single-handedly disrupt an offense. When he enters the zone, his ability increases win rate and block shed speed against one-on-one -on -one zone blocks. So, run stuffer. We know how this one works already, pretty much, for the most part going on all right so let's see up here block shedding becomes more effective versus run plays okay and then two tackles for a loss easy to get well not easy but depending on how the player person plays only thing that sucks run for loss are easy to get it just matters if you get it with that same player 30 offensive yards allowed i always hate that one because like i feel like it's always just one big play and then that's it you lose it right after you get it after all that hard work it took to get to that point how right, else refreshes i feel like I, don't, I hate that aaron donald's missing it's bothering me Okay, well, this happened yesterday. Cam Jordan's the next one. Left end for the Saints. Let's see what he's got. He's got Unstoppable Force. Okay, you guys know Unstoppable Force from last year. I don't really got to go into this one too much. Unstoppable Force ability increases win rate and block shed speed against one-on-one -on -one block, pass blocks. He's just going to be a beast. Like, he's going to, if it's a run, he's going he's gonna to probably get in the backfield. If it's a pass, he's going to get to the quarterback. Pretty simple. I believe it takes two sacks to get there. I believe, yeah, it's two sacks and you lose over 30 yards if I don't stand corrected. All right, next we got Chandler Jones, one us linebacker for the Cardinals. He's got Fearmonger. I actually like Fearmonger. I mean, I prefer Unstoppable Force. Fearmonger's not bad, though. It allows him to apply pressure on opposing QBs, even while engaged with blockers. So, like, when he's, like, coming off the edge and he's bull rushing back, even though he's not going to get to the quarterback, the quarterback will probably throw an errant pass, 
I believe it's the same thing. I believe it's two sacks, and then to get it back, it is to lose it, it's 30 yards. So let's get into there to check it. Let's see. Oh, Fletcher Cox has it as well. Chance to pressure quarterbacks while engaged with a blocker. Two defensive sacks. Oh, 20 yards allowed. I thought we thought it was 30. I mean, I guess 20 makes 20 is fine, but again, really wish it was a little bit longer to have him since it takes a decent amount of time to get it. Chris Jones next for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not going to keep looking on them, guys, if we know the momentum shift. Momentum shift players like Jones demoralize their opponents. When he enters the zone, all on field players, all, all on field opponents are knocked out of their zone or lose any progress. So this would pretty self explanatory. When Chris Jones gets his X Factor, the other side, let's say Tyreek Hill needs one more catch to get his X Factor. It's gone now. Let's say Mahomes needs one more catch to get Bazooka. It's gone now. So, which is really cool, especially when you know players are getting close to it. It could really be, that could be a really useful one, in my opinion. Then we got Daniel Hunter. One of the best ends in the league. Unstoppable force. I love unstoppable force. Unstoppable force ability increases win rate and blocks it against one on one pass blocks. Like I said, it just makes you like what you're supposed to be. To me, unstoppable force is is what the definition of X factor is like. That is it. When he gets unstoppable force, it's one of those things where once you have the once he pass rushes, he's either gonna get past the guy in like two, not even two seconds, maybe one, or if it's a run, he's gonna get right in the back. So if he may not make the play, the mother your opponent might be smart enough to you know double block him or to go ahead and scramble away from him or to call a quick hike, a quick snap. I mean, and then quick throw it. But at the end of the day, he's going to get back there, it's, and it could even throw, throw off a pass. It'll throw off their play calling for at least a play or two until they get you out of it. So until he's out of it, he's gonna be hard. that drive's going to be tough. I'm telling you guys, I've, I've been with this enough. I've played with it enough. I saw before, it's pretty fun. Next, we have the Marcus Lawrence left end for the Dallas Cowboys here. He has unstoppable force as well. A true tank on the field. The Marcus Lawrence's powerful hands make him a top-tier pass rusher. Elite pass rushers like Lawrence are a mix of strength, speed, and tenacity. Ten tenacity. And then again, zone ability, unstoppable force. Let's see what else we got here. I know we have a few more players as we go on down. Okay, so next we got... Oh my god, we got a bunch. Okay, we got Fletcher Cox. I'm not going to keep clicking on them because obviously, guys, I'm only going to click on the new one. So Fear Monger, Fletcher Cox... That is the same thing. It's ability to pressure the quarterback while being engaged with blockers, so he can just pressure from the line. Now, we do have a new one here, Relentless. In my, I think that's a new one. I'm almost positive. So, let's see J.J. Watt's Relentless ability. So, Relentless is... J.J. Watt lives in the offensive backfield. The most tenacious defenders beat their blocks by sheer force of will. When he enters the zone, his, pass, his rush move attempts are free. So, he can just keep rushing as many moves as he wants. Now, does that mean you have to use him? Rush moves no longer cost points, one sack or tackle for a loss. He gets it instantly, but then he loses in 20. Easy to get, but the issue is you have to user him. So once that happens, you have to user him, I'm pretty sure, to actually use your rush abilities or your rush moves. So that's up to you guys if you really want to go ahead and do that. I mean, not the biggest fan of that ability. I'd rather just be able to user my guy. But they also made usering worse this year, so it could be beneficial. Again, a stop force us for Joey Bosa here. Same thing. It's going to be an absolute beast, the line of scrimmage. Then we got unstoppable force again for Khalil Mack. Again, it's going to be a beast of the line of scrimmage. Now, we got Miles Garrett, Unstoppable Force. So, in my opinion, Unstoppable Force is the best one. So, how many Unstoppable Forces do we have here? We have Aaron Donald's got Blitz. Okay, we went through that one already. He's got, we got Cam Jordan, Daniel Hunter, Demarcus Lawrence, and Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack. We got Miles Garrett. So that's probably going to be the best one. Um, Relentless is, in my opinion, the best. I mean, could it be good? It depends. If the user game really isn't much better and we really don't like using linebackers as much as we used to or safeties, maybe it could be a really, really good ability. But I just don't know yet. I have to have the game in my hands to really get a feel for that one. And then obviously I think uh, Blitz is cool. And I think Momentum Shift is really good just for the pure fact that it can destroy an entire team's offensive plan or like a Moss or any of that stuff. So that's pretty cool too as well. And then finally we got Nick Bosa with Relentless, which is the same thing that uh, JJ Watt has where you pretty much have to use him. I'm pretty sure to get the most benefit out of it. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We got, let's see, we got three six nine twelve and then the other one we had like 13 guys so that's pretty cool they did a lot today hopefully they keep doing it just like this we'll make these videos much better much more content in them love about it for the video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn on anybody about boys come join the family get the video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already subscribe you're ready for man 21 thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys have been enjoying this news i mean i know not the most hype stuff but i think it's pretty cool that we're talking about man 21 in general that's about it guys i'm out peace <laughs>